Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, two series read-alongs which um, we are hosting, me and my friend Daisy. We're both hosting over on our Facebook book club, the Daisy and Bee Book Club. We have decided to do a series read-along. Now, we were toying with the idea of how to um, get a group of people together all reading the same books. And we often find that um, in, for instance, um, a fixed book club, um, there might be somebody that can't get hold of the book or somebody that can't afford the book one month, people that um, then end up reading books they don't really enjoy, which is the whole reason what um, behind our book club in the first place was that we had themes and prompts as opposed to actual physical books that get chosen, like one specific book that has to be read. Uh, do, sometimes we do read a specific book and we have a buddy read um for instance over christmas we tend to read a christmasy book together and you know and things like that but nine times out of ten it's that you just read whatever book you want to fulfill the prompt the idea behind that being you read what you want to read but also you can then have a big discussion about this book was amazing i read this for the prompt and you get like this whole plethora of book recommendations which is what we really love um so i've been trying to find an in person real life book club to join so that i can go and meet with a group of people and all discuss the same book um it's been a little bit difficult to find one but fingers crossed i finally found one hopefully um hopefully it's nice and hopefully i enjoy it um but it kind of all spurred from this and we were talking about how we could potentially get group people group together all reading the same book and we were like how about a series read along so how don't we put it to the members of the Daisy and Bee book club that we want to read um, a series together. Anyone else that wants to read the series with us, um, we can. And then we can see the series develop as we go along. And we've got a big group of people coming together to discuss the, the one book. So we put a poll up on our Facebook page and um, we put some suggestions in. And we had a couple of suggestions ourselves we, we put together. And then um, some other members also put in some suggestions as well. And and the two that came up on top were ones that we were like, they were so close um, and we were struggling, like I was struggling to like choose as well. And I was like, what are we going to do? So we've chosen both. So we are going to be doing a series read along, which we're splitting in, was basically splitting the month in half. So on the first of every month, we're going to be discussing the Throne of Glass series and on the 15th of every month, we're going to be discussing the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. So I am going to be hosting Throne of Glass, um, but we're going to I'm going to be joining in with both Throne of Glass and Red Queen. And so is Daisy. Um, but I'm going to be in charge of and hosting the Throne of Glass series read along um, by Sarah J. Mass. Um, I'm going to read you the blurb now. Meet Selena Sardothian, beautiful, deadly, destined for greatness. In the dark, filthy salt mines of Endovia, an 18 year old girl is serving a life sentence. She is a trained assassin, the best of her kind, but she made a fatal mistake. She she got caught. Young Captain Westfall offers her a deal, her freedom in return for one huge sacrifice. Selena must represent the prince in a in a to do in a to the death tournament, fighting the most gifted thieves and assassins in the land. Live or die, Selena will be free. Win or lose, she's about to discover her true true destiny. But will her assassin's heart be melted? Um, the reason why I'm kind of taking this one on is because I am a massive Sarah J Mass fan and I'm a fake fan because I haven't read the Throne of Glass series and I've been talking for ages about wanting to read this series and get the series read and I thought as this came out I think on top of the poll uh, but it was really close I think this one got 10 votes and Red Queen got 9 um, we were like right okay we're going we're going to um we're going to do this and I'm going to do this one. But we also, we also like, we were like, oh, we don't, we don't, we want to do both. We were like, can we do both? So like I say, in the second half of the month on the 15th, um, we're going to be doing the discussion sessions for Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. This is a world divided by blood, red or silver. 
The Reds are commoners ruled by a silver elite in possession of godlike superpowers. And 17 year old Mare, is that how you say her name? I hope it is. Um, a red girl from the poverty stricken stilts. It seems like nothing will ever change, but Mare possesses a deadly talent of her own, one that threatens to destroy the balance of power. Fearful of her potential, the Silvers hide Mare in plain view, declaring her a long lost silver princess. Knowing that one false move will mean her death, Mare must use her new position to bring down the regime from the inside. Now Mare has entered a game of betrayal and lies. So these are both series that I've heard lots of really good things about and I'm excited to read both of them so, so, so much. I know a little bit more about this one because I have actually read the first two books before, but it was such a long time ago that I can't remember anything that happened really. Um, so I'm really looking forward to revisiting. I've heard the first two are maybe the ones that you need to kind of get through and then after the third it kind of gets really good so um, I'm looking forward to making some progress with this and getting to the kind of last few books the big books um because um for context obviously I've read Akatar, the Court of Thorns and Roses series and I've also read the Crescent City series um and this is Sarah Jamas's first published works so I think it has a tendency to maybe not be so good to go back to after you've already experienced her newer work so yeah I'm hoping that we can kind of get through the first couple, um, but I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it because I enjoyed it first time round. It just didn't grip me as much um, as Akatar and Crescent City did. Um, and I'd be honest, I don't know an awful lot about the Red Queen series other than it's had really good reviews and I've heard lots of people talk about it and have rave reviews about it. But I'm trying not to get spoiled. Um, I don't like going into a series knowing too much about it, so um, that blurb is enough for me and maybe even a bit too much for me. I'm looking forward to seeing how these go. So the way that we are going to be um, sort of um, structuring things is, like I say, we're going to be doing a discussion session on the first of every month for Throne of Glass and the 15th of every month for red queen now obviously we're flexible we're all human so if for whatever reason at one point especially when we get to these bigger books at the end if we take a little bit longer than um the time that we've got set to read the books and we run a little bit late then we can move the discussion date um but also if we all read it much much sooner than the date that we're due to discuss then we can all get together sooner and discuss the books as well we do also have a group chat um for both books set up both series read-alongs set up so if you want to join in you can be part of the group and then once we've had the discussion session um we can put some of the discussion points that we've talked about in the chat so for anyone that maybe can't make the discussion session they they can then join in and obviously then the idea being that we don't spoil anybody if there's anybody that's a little bit behind um, and we don't discuss them until the discussions have happened but I am really looking forward to reading both of these um, both of these series and I feel like we've got some accountability now to get them read because we're doing the series read along and I'm really looking forward to reading them with a group of people um, discussing them and getting to chat about them with people that have also read them I'm really looking forward to that like I said I've I've kind of been craving that um I've been wanting to to sit and chat about books to people but it can be a little bit difficult when everyone's reading something different so I'm looking forward to us joining up and reading the same things and discussing them together so yeah if you're interested if you'd like to join in on a series read along then please let me know i can send you a link to the facebook book club page facebook book club page um i'll leave a link to it as well down in the description below and like i say there's more information on the group and we can add you to the group chats on facebook messenger and you can join in with our read alongs but have you read either of these series? Obviously, please, no spoilers in the comments. But have you read either of these? Did you enjoy them? Or have you got part way through? Because if you've got part way through and you want to then join in at one point or want to be reminded of what happens, you don't don't feel like you can't join because you've already read part of the series. You can join in and um, reread or just refresh on what happens in each book. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope some of you would like to join in with our series read along and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.